Dan Moskal here, and in this video we are going to make our blogger website SEO friendly. This is, in going, this is going to include changing the titles and including a meta description for our website and our web pages or web posts. So currently we just made a new blog, it's called SEO Friendliness. Let's go ahead and view our blog. The title is SEO Friendliness. We made one post and this is how your website currently works. It has the website title and then it has a colon and then it'll have the post title. And this, the way it's written, is going to show up in Google search results in this blue part. But what you want is to have, sorry, you want to have the title of your post show up first that's much more friendly to the search engines because that's what your actual post or new web page is about and then you want to have it followed with the uh, website title so let's go ahead and do that so basically we want to flip these two so you want to go over to your blogger blog click on template and click edit HTML um, Yours is probably just going to have 10 lines show up initially. And what you're going to have to click on is Format Template. And of course, this, these things change with time. Uh, so Google is going to change it in the future, or Blogger, same people. So anyways, this is what you want to do. You want to go in here and you want to find number 11. It's row 11 and row 13. It's title, and then data, blog, page title, all the way to the title. So these are the things we're going to replace. And just so you can see it, it's these three things. You know, the title tags. And you want to replace it with this right here. And I'm going to uh, include this on the, uh, on the description underneath this video. Sorry, I'm going to actually include this. Um, sometimes those quotes will be changed to a different, it'll just look differently. I'm not going to. So anyways, we want to replace this, these three lines right here with our code. And that computer code is this right here. BF, blah, 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 blah. And then once you have it replaced, you got to hit Save Template. Now let's view our blog. SEO friendliness, that's the title. Boom! Post title. The post title is coming first, followed by the website title. Do you see how that's different? Before it was the website title and then it was followed by the post title. Now if you're searching in Google, what makes more sense if you're searching for video SEO, for example, to have a web page result that says video SEO example how to do search engine optimization followed by Dan Moskal University that makes a lot more sense than having Dan Moskal University at the front and then it say SEO example who cares who knows who Dan Moskal University is when you're searching for video SEO examples or how to be happier or how to build a website um, this is much more friendly to put your post title in the front because that's what your actual web title, web page, web post is actually about. Um, Alright, so we've got that SEO titles. That's done. That's all you had to do is just replace those three lines with that computer code which we're going to put in in the description of this video. Click Save Template and then your website is fixed. Post title, SEO friendliness. And if you don't want a hyphen, you can change it's right here in the code. You can change that. Popular are these bars or the posts you see. That's not an L. That's a post. Um, <laughs> on the Mac it's above the enter button on the right side uh, of the keyboard. So anyways let's get over to the meta description because the meta description and let's see what this is in the search results. The meta description is this area right here. It's the little uh, description about your website or about your web page. So for example, 
with the Dan Moskal video SEO example. This is an example of the SEO video and how to actually do search engine optimi optimization for a video or web page. So let's fix that. You're going to have to do this twice. You want to go over to settings. The first place is in basic. You want to edit the description. This is your website general description. In other words, what is your website about? You know, the general idea of what your website is. The Dan Moskal University. In our general description about our website, it is to grab a free copy of Dan Moskal's upcoming book publication, blah, 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 blah. So let's go back over, put yours in, click Save Changes. Now we have to go over under the settings. We're going to have to do this twice. We need to go over to Search Preferences. So we first did it in Basic, and now we're doing it in Search Preferences. Look here, Meta Tags, Description. This is the description about your web site and then web pages. Right now it's disabled. So we're just doing the same thing, but first we want to enable the search description. Paste the same thing in, um, and you can see it's 150 characters max. I've seen 160, 165, and then also with the title tag, it is a uh, maximum of 60 or 70 characters. If you go over, they'll just put three little dots in that uh, applies to the title and the meta description. So if you have more than two sentences, you know, they're just going to apply three little dots. Um, so anyways, click Save Changes. So just quick review. Search preferences, meta tags, description. You want to edit it, click Yes, and then paste it in. And you also need to change the basic description click edit and paste in your basic description. This description is for your overall website. Now let's go back over to the post. Let's look at this new little thing that popped up on our post. It's right over here on the post settings. This is your meta description right here. Search description. That's the same thing as the meta description or meta tags. So this is a post for our video about how to change the titles and post description or meta tags or search description as they say and then click done and then of course you're gonna have to update an existing page but this search description is gonna show up on any of your new posts so now this page has the search description that we just put in search description. The search description shows up as the two sentences that describe what your website or web page is about. And that's it. Now your website is a whole lot more search engine friendly. Um, just having, you know, <laughs> Boom, it's search engine friendly. That's all you need to do. I'm going to put that computer code into the uh, description on this video and also Dan Moskal. Uh, check out danmoskaluniversity.com for more tips and uh, please share this video. You can also find us. We're just about to publish a book at amazon.com about how to build a website and make money online with companies like Google AdSense, amazon.com, even walmart.com. I mean, there's uh, endless number of ways to earn money online uh, including YouTube videos so um, visit danmoskaluniversity.com check out our upcoming book please like this video please share it with your friends please comment below uh, tell me what you want to know next and I am here to help again Dan Moskal and thanks for watching